Now see everyone, the Facebook Marketplace is the best place to look. These barrels have only been used one time. They come from the Little Debbie factory that makes those little little Debbie cakes to all y'all like. Basically brand new, nothing harmful on the inside. Twenty foot, twenty five dollars a pop. You can't beat it. Always look on Facebook Marketplace. But you see, folks, there's people like this. Excellent guy right here. He's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Oh, and he knows his stuff about thank gardening. You, oh, no, thank no, you. no need to thank me. But Facebook Marketplace is where to look for stuff like this for all of you homesteaders. Cheap. It's only been used one time. No bad chemicals in it. You can still take it home, wash it out with a little bit of Dawn soap. You'll be good. Yep. So right here. And also, always make sure you get it from a trusted source. I trust Matt. And I trust his dad. This is going to be a lifetime, lifelong friendship right here. Oh. Definitely. <laughs> so today we're going to make a water trough using a 50 gallon blue plastic barrel that we got today. There is no harmful chemicals inside it. There's only a one time use. And we got it for $25 off the Facebook Marketplace. So really, it's quite simple. You only need a couple tools. Your target area, I myself put two nipples. It's up to you how many you want to do. But you want to take your Sharpie. Normally, I put one about here. Then I put another one directly across from it, about right here. That way, if two pigs want to drink at the same time, they can. I've seen it done numerous times. It's always good to have at least two nipples instead of one. Now, once when you get that done, now most nipples say a half inch. Use a three quarter inch paddle bit. It's really simple. Just make sure when you drill, you keep it nice and level and not at an angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this down. <clears throat> directly in the center. Simple as that. My jewels are kind of weak. They are 12 volt. I wish I had a 20 volt, but you got to work with what you got, right? All right, come around to the second hole. Make sure everything's nice and straight. Just like that, it's pretty simple. Now the next thing you want to do, take your plumber's tape. These nipples screw in clockwise. Plumber's tape, you always want to apply it going counterclockwise. So we want to go this way let's tear that piece off <clears throat> you want to make sure your plumber's tape is nice and flat there's no need to go overboard just one to two layers is perfectly fine. 
for a good seal. Just tear it off like that, smooth it in. Go to your next one. Just like that. Now what you do, when you screw it in, you want to keep it as straight as possible while screwing it in. For the most part, it can be done. It's quite simple. Get you a pair of channel locks. Now you don't want to go all the way through. You probably want to stop to where you don't see any more threads. So I'll probably go around to about right here. Right there's a good stopping point. And then over here, same thing. Go around. to stop right about there now for the added protection always take some multi-purpose glue or caulking I call it glue for the work that I do full-time and then I will apply a bead going around just for the added protection. It's up to you on how thick you want to put it on. The pigs aren't going to mess, mess with it. And you're going to want this to dry I want to say maybe 24 hours or until dry. Usually it takes about 24 hours just to be safe before you do your water test. Check for any leaks. Now I'll take my finger just smooth over it. Don't push down hard when you do that. Just keep your finger elevated slightly. That way you're not taking off all the silicone. And just like that, bam, all done. It was simple, it was easy. 10 minutes worth of work, $25, you get the nipples. They're about five to six bucks each. It's real easy, real simple. And yes, the pigs will go up against them, scratch their sides up against the nipples. I've only had one small leak so far, and that was caused by my boar. Other than that, no leaks at all. All right. So as you can see, it only took about 10 minutes worth of work. The nipples cost about five to six bucks at your local co-op. 
Just need a three quarters inch paddle drill bit, some plumber's tape or Teflon tape. And remember on the nipples, you go, you wrap the tape counterclockwise, one to two layers, nothing dramatic. This is up to you, but I do it. Get some uh, waterproof silicone and just go around the edges. Small bead and just use your finger elevated slightly and just go around it. Well, my water nipple there is uh, slightly crooked, but that's okay. The pigs will still get plenty of water out of it. So there it is, you know. I've been using these for a year now. Facebook Marketplace is the place to get them. Make sure you get it from a trusted source. Make sure you clean the water barrels. It doesn't matter what they tell you, what, you know, that, what was in them. You still clean them. Just use some Dawn soap. Switch it around as much as you can. Clean it as best as you can. Run a lot of water through it. Do your leak tests. Uh, me personally, I get mine from a trusted source. So I know my guy's not lying to me as, you know, the contents. Um, he works for Little Debbie and they came from the uh, Little Debbie Cakes factory and and this one was strawberry flavoring yummy actually probably very unhealthy but we'll get the uh the leftover flavoring out of the barrel we'll clean it up for the pigs our goal here is when we rotate our pigs is that we have each paddock already set up that way i myself can rotate pit rotate <laughs> rotate the pigs by myself with it only taking minutes so i bought three more barrels today um need to get a couple more of the uh ibc totes to make hay feeders and that's it we got plenty of premier one fencing we got plenty of premier one energizers we're ready to go Slowly but surely, you know, it's not a race, it's a marathon, and you gotta work with what you got, you know? Just because someone else that you see on YouTube has a ton of stuff doesn't mean that you need a ton of stuff right away. You wanna work to it, work slowly, don't exhaust all your finances in one shot. And if you're just starting out homesteading, take it from me, Start out slow. Do not rush it. We rushed it and we paid the price. Um, we got burned out quick with the 9,000 square foot garden, pigs, 30 some chickens. We got six guineas, 13 ducks, two geese, three roosters. Uh, yeah, two, uh, two farm cats. And we got a uh, six, well now a seven week old Great Pyrenees puppy which we'll be watching over our livestock come springtime. So don't take after us. Go at your own pace. You know your finances. You know your limits. So don't overdo it. Remember, it's a marathon. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks, you guys. Have a happy new year.